Hey, I'm Thomas Steckbeck. I've been the series strategy manager for close to two years now. I've been with the company close to four. Today I'm going to watch you through our extraction process so you can get a better idea about how, what goes on in here. This is our cup 15 from Delta Separations. This is what we use to perform our extractions. We'll put our canvas material, if it's flour or trim, into here. We then pump cold ethanol that we keep stored at minus 80 degrees Celsius into the basket. It then spins at a higher velocity to extract all the cannabis essential oils and return it to this keg. So after it's been extracted, we then begin the distillation process. Um, we will pull the, the extract from this keg through a series of string filters to remove sediment. It will then end up with this carboy. We will then pump the extract into our rotor vat where we will use uh, a heated water bath and vacuum to evaporate the ethanol. We'll re condense on these columns and drop out concentrating the oil. This is the spray bath. It's another distillation setup. Instead of a roto bath that uses a, a heated water bath and rotating of the boiling flask, this uses thin film distillation. The extract will come out of this nozzle up here, be sprayed down this column, which has got a heated water jacket, which increases the surface area and allows for a more even, quicker evaporation process. So this is our deep freezer. Uh, after the first distillation, we can put our cannabis oil and ethanol solution into here. Uh, we leave it typically for a period of time that allows the waxes and lipids to drop out. Once it's done, once it's sat in here for a period of time, we'll run through our Buchner filtration system again, and that allows us to remove the waxes and lipids from the cannabis oil, leaving a more pure substance. Once we've completed the second distillation and the oil has reached a consistency that indicates most of the ethanol has been removed, we'll then pour it onto these vacuum oven trays and put it into our vacuum ovens. This allows us to purge the remaining ethanol from the oil and get us below the state's PPM limits. So once we've completed purging the ethanol in the vacuum ovens, we end up with uh, pure cannabis oil, like this shatter over here. We can turn it into a variety of different products, including oil that we put into our cartridges or edibles, along with wax, and uh, as I just showed, shatter. The benefit of our extractions process is at the end we end up with a full spectrum concentrate. What happens is in a full spectrum concentrate, all the different cannabinoids that were in the cannabis flower are retained, which is beneficial because they all work in concert in the entourage effect to produce a more therapeutic and effective high. 